Hello, my name is Michael Tilpe. I'm a painter, a tourist guide, as well as a musician. I play the bagpipes too. Uh, now, I am at number four of the instructional videos that I'm doing just now on the progression of a picture, which uh, starts off from pencil sketch. Uh, from usually I use sketches on the spot, but on this occasion, because of lockdown, I am uh, working from a photograph and from memory. But I do depart from the photograph quite a lot, as you can see in the picture as it's developing here. Now, to begin with, I did uh, visit the location and uh, describe to you what there was special about it that attracted me to it. And then I took you through uh, the type of mediums I use and a brief kind of explanation of how I developed the work from the pencil sketch uh, through the pastel sketch and then onto the canvas. Now, uh, from the last uh, video, I've progressed quite a bit from what was uh, kind of charcoal pencil outline mainly, having squared it up and enlarged it from a smaller sketch. And as you can see now, um, it's quite further on, or quite a bit further on now, um, using oil pastels. I use uh, quite high quality pastels. Uh, which are neo pastels, but sometimes I have to use uh, chalk pastels to get some of the finer uh, edges and detail because the oil pastel tends to be um, a bit blurry sometimes. But uh, I, I love the oil pastel because it's got a vibrancy. Now you can see uh, that the technique um, is quite sort of broken and quite impressionistic. Uh, famous uh, artists of the past, including Degas and Sura and Senior, uh, they uh, looked at colour in terms of mixing it sometimes uh, uh, on the picture, on the finished uh, piece, rather than mixing it on a palette. And of course, you can do this with pastel work. So it's a kind of blending and uh, interaction of different colours. For instance, here, uh, it's a more sort of a purple uh, colour of a turquoise, where I've got turquoise and purplish, a light purple, uh, side by side here. Whereas further up, I've got um, some more green mixed in with the cobalt blue. So it tends to give quite a lot of variation within the blues. And other areas uh, with the building on this side, which is the Playfair Church, uh, quite a remarkable building in Edinburgh, uh, quite a striking tower. Uh, I have been aware of the sandstone, a nice golden honey coloured stone, which is so characteristic of Edinburgh, but uh, the interplay of light on it, where I've got some cooler areas with a bit of a very pale green, uh, blending through into sort of pinks into warmer areas, and even warmer and darker as I go into shadow here. So there's quite a bit of warmth in here uh, to interplay against the blueness of the sky. So it's not just a case of uh, taking this uh, honey-coloured stone literally. Uh, there's a lot of sort of fugitive, what I like to call fugitive colours, but um, for my own expression, um, I, I just spontaneously will mix and interact the different shades here as well. So you can see the central feature here, which is the church um, of uh, St Vincent's Church, which uh, sits like an island. That's what uh, I find very appealing uh, in the picture here, because it's kind of separated from what's going on around about it. And decreasing perspective down the side here of uh, some modern apartments, and decreasing perspective down this little lane called Circus Lane, uh, which is very popular with walkers here. And uh, this building on the left with the pub, uh, happily called the St Vincent Bar, uh, enabled me to just uh, get the Vincent in. So um, apologies to Van Gogh there. Uh, not in, in pinging on his uh, reputation at all. Although I, I'm a great admirer of Van Gogh and his uh, expressive uh, paintings. Now, I'm very interested in street furniture and you can see um, this drain cover here as well and broken paving and cobblestones. Cobblestones, of course, were the kind of older uh, way to uh, enable horses to travel with carriages going back to about the 18th, 19th century. So we retain them here in Edinburgh because it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
So I want to give a feeling of space by uh, being a bit more definite, a bit darker with the sleep furniture, with the drain cover, with the edges of the paving, even broken stones and potholes. These interest me quite a lot. And the yellow um, no waiting lines uh, traffic uh, restrictions here too, which give me an opportunity to get these broad curves uh, leading our eye into the picture. So generally, um, the painting or picture or whatever you're doing, uh, you want to, as you get more distance away, the changes between the colours and shades are less, but as you get nearer to, um, then the changes are a bit more uh, dramatic, as you can see here in the light and shade of the church building here. So it's all very deliberate and technical at the same time as being expressive. So I'm just going to carry on a little bit and uh, uh, bring up this uh, warmth here on the uh, pavement, a bit of yellow and uh, red here. Uh, I love the pink, the pinks, and uh, it uh, just gives me this opportunity to get into quite wild colour, uh, which I tend to do. It tends to be my natural style. So sort of uh, blocking that in a bit. And as you can see, I've got the red to um, heighten the division between the paving in here. Make them a bit more exaggerated here. So I think I think the composition does require that I need to uh, make this quite a bit warmer here because there's a lot of coolness in here, and especially the sky here it is uh, the main kind of thrust of the picture is slow blues and coolness, and I'm trying to tie this bit in with the warmth of this building here. So the two of them kind of uh, balance out here. And uh, this uh, kind of uh, no entry sign gives me the opportunity to add another uh, warm color note up here. So that's the stage I'm at now. I'm going to work on this a bit more and then I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to square up the canvas and uh, then start to draw again, but this time with the paintbrush and use this as a basis uh, for the color uh, to help me develop it. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, leave you now and I'll continue with this and have a nice day and I'll catch up with you at the next stage, which is uh, number five of these instructional videos. All the best, thank you, bye.